Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. I read everybody's comments, and it it's very close. It's you got almost half that want to go into number nine for the electronics, and then you got the other half that want to do both aviation and flight control. So let's break this down, shall we? Typically, I would agree with everybody. Well, not excuse me, not everybody, but almost half of everybody to get the solar panels. The solar panels are pretty much the only thing you're gonna get from electronics. There are no scientific experiments. The only thing that's slightly better than solar, well, slightly second to solar panels would be the Probodyne OKTO. This little guy comes with his own reaction wheel and SAS stability assist. It cannot, however, hold prograde or retrograde. The deployable science part is simply to power other science parts. It doesn't actually do science by itself. So if we unlocked this, what could we build? What would be the significant upgrade? Other than satellites, pretty much nothing. We can counteract the lack of power by the Terrier engine by simply turning everything off on the way there. Not only that, but we just make the whole thing a battery bank. It pretty much has a lot of power. Now, I like to play realistically, so we're not going to send that spacecraft all the way to Minmus. That spacecraft is maybe a max of two weeks of theoretical life support and it takes almost a month to get there, let alone come back. So when I go to Minmus, I'm gonna go there in style. I'm gonna build a relatively decent sized spacecraft that can travel to a small little planet or moon and back again while realistically looking like it could definitely do that kind of journey without returning with all the Kerbals dead. No, I am not gonna strap a Kerbal to the side of a rocket using duct tape for maximum efficiency and send them off years into space. Now, larger spacecraft only comes when you go ahead and upgrade the facilities but in order to upgrade the facility and the runways and everything else you're going to need money and right now electronics only pretty much gives you the ability to make a satellite but Veos you can build a probe that can go interplanetary and gather all the science out there no you can't the only communications technology we have is the high gain antenna even if we were to put a hundred of them on a spacecraft it wouldn't work by the time the probe got way out there, way past Kerbin, we would lose contact with it and it'd be uncontrollable. So even if we were able to give it some sort of slingshot maneuver to head right to a planet and then whip right back, there would be no science gained because we would never be able to control it. It would reach Eve or Duna and come back and we would just never be able to control it until it got close enough. Which means no science experiments, no nothing. So the only satellites that we could possibly build with electronics is close by pretty much just outside the Kerbin system or inside. However, if we unlock aviation and flight control, that will give us the ability to create space planes. And not just any space plane, but reusable SSTOs. And right now we have a flood of missions that allow us to get contracts that allow us to fly two tourists into orbit and back again. Now because our facility hasn't been upgraded, we're only allowed to have two of these contracts, but if we get two of them allowing for two passengers, and if we build an SSTO space plane that can carry four, then we could easily be looking at something like 40,000 Kerbal Bucks per flight that we get back. Not to mention the fact that it's an SSTO, so we don't lose anything other than fuel. Grinding that kind of money, we could upgrade all of these facilities very easily. This would allow us to build bigger rockets, unlock things like taking surface samples, as well as many other wonderful little trinkets. Now, sadly, I can't make a poll because by the time I actually design this whole thing and make these videos, a lot of times I've already put it out there way ahead of time before you even see this video of hell it would have already been several days like right now it's five o'clock Sunday but you're not gonna see this until Wednesday so I'm talking to all of you future people but yes I do read every single comment and team aviation versus team electronics were both pretty much a tie so as tiebreaker, I'm coming in here with logic in order to define what exactly would electronics do for us at this point in time. And to be honest, it's not much. With that being said, love me or hate me, we're going to go ahead for aviation and flight control. Boom, boom. Okay, time to build ourselves an SSTO. Space plane. The Orion class was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ship, but it's time to upgrade. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Maybe it's something that we can put in the Smithsonian of Kerbals.
the new Trinity SSTO X01. This is strictly a test. I tried loading up the crew cabins with some weight to try to simulate a full crew. I know the weight is off by a little bit, but it's close enough. Jebediah does have a parachute and is capable of EVAing, which means he can eject. In three, two, one, contact. Okay, 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 okay. Well, that sucked. So here is the problem that we have. Unfortunately, even though these wheels can get it off the ground, the highly likely event that they actually burn up because of the fact that their skin temperature is only at a thousand during re-entry will mean that this thing will not have the ability to land <laughs> except for maybe on water on the way back. These girders do weigh a little bit but surprisingly not enough to really give a shit. Plus they don't exactly create that much drag when they're in this position. They create a hell of a lot of drag when they're on their side. This has been tested. The plan was that if this thing did burn off at least you'd have these to land but but it's looking like until we actually get some gears, we're just gonna have to put these throw weighable steer, uh, landing gears, actual foldable gears I'm talking about. Until we get those, I'm thinking we're just gonna have to use these fixed landing gears and steerable landing gears as throwaway landing gears. We're gonna have to take off from the runway, but land in the water. Right now we are actually out of funds. So we're gonna have to grind a little bit. Now, because of the fact that we are so low on funds, we can't actually do any of the big missions. We're gonna have to uh, really scrape from the bottom of the barrel here until we can get some money. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Should I try to make this thing work with some sort of skid technology using the modular girder segments? Or should I design it to have throwawayable landing gears until we're able to unlock the actual foldable landing gears? I mean, it's not gonna be too bad. These landing gears are like $100 a piece it's not that expensive so if we lose these it's not going to hurt us we'll just have to land in the water near Kerbin in order to get you know 80 percent or 95 percent of the money back from the spacecraft anyway that's all the time i have for today thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel if you liked what you saw please leave a like and if you loved what you saw consider subscribing we also have a membership program if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name pretty cool check it out so love you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now i actually like this idea where it starts off all x-plane experimental it's got the caution stripes mostly orange the interior probably doesn't even have the seats or the walls or anything it's just wires and and small little metal platform with some weights to simulate the weight that would be going up into space once it's all completed bare minimum very experimental i actually like it puts a little grin on my face because i know that once we iron this out it's going to be a cash cow for sure not only that but it's also going to re be a recruiting tool because we'll be able to save a bunch of kerbals that are stranded in orbit that's going to be nice i like it i really 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 like it